So today, I wanna to talk to you about how we're gonna be able to beat the scale, and I'm gonna give you six alternative metrics to the scale that's gonna give you the light, that's gonna give you enjoyment, and it's gonna keep you happy so that you have other tools to measure your success. Starting with number one is how frequent are you working out? So what I need you to do is to keep track of how many workouts you completed in a month. So every week, just have a weekly calendar where you're going to track the number of workouts that you've done in a month. And your goal is to get five to six every single week. And at the end of the month, you're gonna put down a number and you're gonna move on to the next calendar and you're gonna compare it month to month. So start tracking how often you're working out every single month. Number two is food tracking. So what you need to do is note the number of days you've tracked your food intake not just during a challenge, but also during the rest of the course of the year. So your goal is to, in My Fitness Pal, it actually shows how many days you've been tracking your food. So enter your food in every single day and just see if you can get a full year in. Number three is visual changes, and I tell this to every client that comes through the door that they need to start taking photos and comparing them month to month. Because even if the scale doesn't tell you exactly what you wanna see, you know that if you've done you know, five to six workouts a week and you've been tracking your food for an entire month, that there's going to be some positive changes. And those positive changes might not reflect on the scale, but honestly, if you compare day one to day 30, you're going to see some visual change. You don't have to share it with the world, you can keep it with yourself, but honestly, if you put it side by side, I believe that you're going to be extremely happy. Number four is to improve your self-perception. So start paying attention to how you feel both physically and emotionally. Notice if you have more energy during the day, maybe you've gotten stronger, how's your mood? Maybe you're snapping less, or are you getting better sleep? Because these positive changes indicate progress regardless of what the scale says. How about your clothes? How are your clothes fitting? Now evaluate how they're fitting. Are they looser or are they more comfortable? Do you feel you might need to tighten your belt or maybe go down a clothing size? These changes indicate shifts in your body composition. You are changing, you're doing all the right things. And if the scale doesn't indicate it, well guess what? That dress or that pair of skinny jeans will. And how about your friends or your family or maybe people you haven't seen in a very long time? Are they giving you compliments? And are they providing feedback? So listen to what the positive things that others are saying about you. Because you might not see it, and the scale might not show it, but they see it, and now you know it. So I want you to remember that success is not solely defined by a number on the scale, by tracking your workout frequency, how many times you're tracking your food, how about the changes in photos, how do you feel, how are clothing fitting, what about feedback and compliments from others, you're gonna understand a deeper connection of your progress. So what I want you to do is embrace these alternative measures of success and celebrate the positive transformations happening in your body and your overall being. Keep pushing forward on your journey, be the best version of yourself, and always, everybody, always get 1% better.